fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. In the early days of the western United States, outlaws made their headquarters in the Badlands. Ranchers and townspeople alike lived in fear of their sudden raids. And it was not until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for justice that law and order were brought to the frontier. Courageous and resourceful, the Lone Ranger proved himself more than a match for any criminal and in time drove them from the new territory. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young... From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Millfield! Devil's waiting on the trail ahead! Hello, Silver! Away! <laughs> Sam Whitby had made a handsome profit from the sale of his cattle. And while completing the transaction in the cafe at Millfield, he could not refrain from talking about the soundness of his judgment. <laughs> Count it out loud while you're paying me, Mr. Salters. <laughs> Maybe when some of these smart gents see how much it comes to, they won't figure there's a doggone smart after all. <laughs> Golly, I sure wish it had the nerve to hold my cattle. Hmm. But whoever figured the market would go this high? Gosh, I sold at the bottom. <laughs> and you all told me that if I held on, I'd lose my shirt. <laughs> go ahead, Mr. Salters, count it. Well, if any of these gentlemen doubt that you did well, I'll be glad to inform them I'm paying you exactly $7,400. Seven thousand? Mm-hmm. There it is, Sam. All of it in paper money, just as you asked for it. That satisfy you? <laughs> Satisfy me? Mister, it plumb tickles me to pieces. Five thousand of that just stands for the difference between what I got by selling now and what I would have got if I'd sold before. And they called me loco. <laughs> well, who's loco now? <laughs> Ain't you gonna stand treat, Sam? Sam, you got money to burn, and my throat's dusty as a desert trail. How's for some red eye? Yeah, yeah. I can't stay around, fellas. It wouldn't be safe. I got to take this cash to the banker so as he can deposit it for me in the morning. Oh, yeah, stay that now, way. now, don't get excited. Cause I ain't staying, it don't mean I ain't buying, does it? Well, well that's 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 barkeep, hey, barkeep. What's your pleasure, Sam? You see what? this? Sure. It's a hundred dollar bill. Well, there she is. Put her away. Huh? Put her away and keep giving the boys drinks till it's all used up. I'm treating and I'm doing it right. A hundred dollars? Leaping catfish. Sam, you're all right. Ain't nobody's going to say Sam Whitby's cheap. Drink up, fellas, and have your fun. I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. That's so fast. Huh? You ain't going nowhere. Oh, who's the, the hawk? 
Get her out and keep them covered, fellas. This won't take long. Right. We blast the first one of them to move. You fellas can't come in my cafe. Hey! We can't. How'd you like that? That mirror cost me $300. And maybe that'll teach you to keep your mouth shut. What are you fellas after? What do you suppose? Hand it over, mister. Uh, hand what over? Don't play for time or you'll get led right through your galluses. Hand it over. I ask you. Then I'll help myself. Leave go. Now, if you give it to me in the first place, it'd save us both trouble. Come on, fellas, we get out of here. You can't have it. That's near everything I got. You can't have it. Sam's knocked out. You dirty crooks. Maybe you killed him. You pay for this. He got just what he was looking for. And if you gents want the same, I just stick your nose outside the door, therefore we've got away. Get going, fellas. We got what we come for. Don't slap leather, gents. Because we got itching trigger fingers and you might get through. Come on. The skunk, Sam. Are you hurt, Sam? Oh. He's coming around. Somebody should get the sheriff. Come on. The sheriff's out of town. And them pool cats likely knew it. By thunder, Hawk and that gang of his are getting so bold they walk right into town to do their robbing. Hmm. They gotta be stopped. Uh, maybe we should take after them before Not they... me. I aims to keep my health. They'd as soon drill you as look at you. That's so. And every one of them a dead shot. Fellas, I'm a scared poor Sam's cash is gone for good. The following day, two horsemen... One masked and the other an Indian directed their mounts toward a small ranch house and... We'll buy supplies here, Tonto, if they have any to spare. It'll save us a trip into town. Ah. That is, we'll try to buy supplies if anyone's home. The place looks deserted. There, fella. Where? Him on step. Yes, I see him. Come on, Tonto. Get him up, Scout. Might just as well ride on. Some other crooks got it afore you. What are you talking about? Come to rob me, didn't you? Well, I'm just saving you the bother of climbing out of your saddle and holding me up. The hawk's got my cash. What's that? Sorry to disappoint you, stranger, but I reckon even crooks have to go without once in a while. You better drop back maybe in a year from now. I might have a stake again by then. <laughs> you talk heap foolish. Foolish, huh? Well, look at me. Not a dime to my name. And look at the bunkhouse. Clean empty. Had to let my crew go because I can't pay them wages. How do you expect me to talk? Or do you think I ought to be sitting here singing a song? We're not crooks. <laughs> Just sport that mask to fool your friends, huh? How much money did you have stolen? Curious to know how much you missed? Well, it was over $7,000. I bet that hurts you. You say the hawk got it? Yeah. Maybe you can persuade him to divvy up with you. When did this happen? Last night. Where? Hold on now. You ain't no lawyer and I ain't no witness. Just why should I be answering every question you feel like thinking up? Perhaps we can help you. <laughs> that's a good one. The hawk shouldn't be hard to find. Sure not. But who wants to find him? That's the point. Him and that gang of his are contagious. That's what they are. Everybody that goes near him gets lead poisoning. So I've heard. Even got the law buffaloed they have. I bet you dollars to donuts you couldn't get the sheriff within ten miles of the hawk's hideout. I'm not the sheriff. <laughs> you ain't. No, I wasn't just sure. And I've got a pretty good idea just where the hawk's hideout is. Back in the Red River country from all I've heard. Right. You sound like maybe you was a part of his. Not exactly. Well, we've passed the time of day, stranger, and we've exchanged what exciting gossip there is. Now, if you don't mind, I'd just assume you rode along. Maybe you'd be different, but me... Well, losing 7000 in cash don't make me feel much like company. I understand how you feel, Sam, and I don't blame you. We'll ride along. Adios. And don't be surprised if we meet again. Come on, Tonto. Get him up, Scout. Hail Silver! Away! What was that he called his horse? And the engine. Oh, I'm the biggest idiot there ever was. That was the Lone Ranger, and I drove him away. Ignoring the question of supplies for the time being, 
The masked men and Tonto circled town and headed for the Red River District. Come on, Silver! Come on! Get him up, Scout! Get over toward the river, Tonto! Uh, we'll have the most cover there! That right! I'll Silver! Get him up, Scout! Come on. <laughs> Reaching the bank of the river, their course led them into rough country. Gullies became chasms, and the ground was covered with treacherous boulders. Finally, the masked man drew Silver to a stop. Oh, oh, Silver. Oh, Scout. Oh, 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 fella. Why? Why we stop? What's that between those rocks over there? Look just above them. It's smoke. And coming from just about the place we heard the Hulk use for a hideout. Ah. He's getting careless. He's had too much success. It's about time he was brought to justice. Not right. But what I'm interested in right now is getting back Sam's money. Ah. Uh. I'd rather make sure of that first than try to make a capture. The Hawk has at least a dozen men following him. Something went wrong, they and the money might both get away. Um, uh, what we do? We can take the horses a little closer without danger of being heard, I believe. Come on. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. I have an idea, Kimasabi. But I want to look over the ground first. Uh huh? We'll ride as far as that clump of trees ahead of us and leave the horses there. Those trees will give them good cover. Then go on foot. Right. Come on, old fellow. <laughs> Never had Hawk and his men been more overconfident. They were seated about the campfire, chuckling over their holdup of the night before. <laughs> Did you see the big fella at the end of the bar? <laughs> he was so scared he was green. Every time I waved my irons his way, I could see him getting sick. <laughs> <laughs> and then some fellas are scared to go against the law. From all I've seen up to now, the heap rather be against the law than for it. <laughs> it's a heap safer. <laughs> Just one reason. Yeah, Hawk? What's that? We're safe as long as you fellas follow my orders. They'll never give nobody a chance. Show them right off. They stand to get drilled if they put up a fight. Kill a few fellas that ain't convinced easy, and the rest of them begin to get the idea. Like the time you blasted the stage driver, huh, Hawk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the only time you can think of? Hey, Hawk. Yes, yeah, Slash? Hey, when do we divide up Whitby's case? Why not give everybody his share now? Because <laughs> I know you fellas. Money in your pocket, and you'd be heading across the border and staying there till it's all spent. Nothing doing. But now it stays in my saddlebags. Time enough to divvy it up after we've held up that bank we planned on. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, Sharks, oh, don't get restless. It won't be long. And just recollect, when you do go, you'll have over twice the cash to throw around. I can wait. Hey, what caused that? What in blocks? Them stones didn't slide without somebody was there to start them. No, they Come on, just... Shut up. Maybe it's just some animal. Stay here, I'll have a look. Yell out if you see anything. There is somebody. Come running. Where'd the sound come from? You didn't get hit, did you, Hawk? That was in it. That one came so close, I could hear it whistle. I seen the flash. Came from over there. Come on after the pole cam. Hawk, hold on. Hold on, we've been fixed. What's that? That masked fellow back there at camp. He's in your saddlebag. Them shots was just to draw us away. Get away from there. He's got the cash. Shoot the pole cat down. <laughs> Ducking into the brush with the cash and all. We can get him. He's afoot. Aim into the brush, fellas. Hey, He's over that way. I warned you. Stay back. To blazes with him. Keep after him. Oh, my hand. He get you? He shot the gun right out of my hand. I'll fix him. I'll get him myself. Oh, my gosh. You done the same to Hawk. Hey, that's what I call real shooting. We'll have to rush him all at once. Oh, no. hold on. But if he gets Don't a... you see the way he went? He's trapped. Behind him's a canyon. He can't get down it. Yeah, but the river. If he tries to swim it, we can pick him off just as easy as hitting the side of a barn. And the only other way out... Is right past us. <laughs> Take it easy, fellas. Why get hurt? If we can't do nothing else, we'll starve the polecat out. <laughs> Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The masked man, threading his way through the brush, saw Tonto coming toward him. Tonto. Uh, they cut us off from the horses. We're trapped. Oh, that bad. Well, we have the cash. No way to get out with it, from what I can see. Let's have a look. Perhaps there's something we haven't noticed that'll give us a chance. Uh, there's a clearing. The river's just beyond. Maybe feller fallers. I doubt it. I gave them something to think about when I shot the gun from their hands. They won't risk their necks unless it's necessary. Oh, that's right. Well, let's have a look here. See? Oh, not bad. As soon as we got ten feet out from the bank, we'd be in full view. If we reached the other side alive, it'd be a miracle. Oh. As for the canyon, that's out of the question. I've never been above it before, but I've ridden through it. I remember it well enough. A straight drop in line by loose shale. Men then get us. Not without a fight. Well, let's get back to the brush again, Tata. I think the time that rise over there, we'll be in plain sight here. Uh, Might be best to head back for them without letting ourselves be seen or heard. Hope for the chance to break through them. Uh, maybe we... Uh, what happened, Tato? Twist your ankle? Oh, uh, ankle, all right. <laughs> Me step on log. Log cave in. It's rotted. It isn't as safe as it looks. Uh, Come on, with. What matter? Log. That log. Tato, I'm not so sure we're trapped after all. Hawk had stationed his men in positions commanding every possible avenue of escape. They held these positions patiently enough for the first hour, but when they were well into the second, they began to get impatient. Slash! What in blazes do you think you're doing? Oh, just shooting at a bird sitting atop that there log floating over there in the river. What's the matter? Ain't we supposed to make no noise? Didn't you see how that masked man could shoot? Oh, shucks. You'll get your fool head blown off one of these days. Why do you think I put you there? Done it so you couldn't be seen. The masked fella sneaked back. He'd know right where you're sitting. I didn't mean nothing by it. I Neither was... did the fella looked into the barrel of his gun and pulled the trigger. He was just looking to see if it was loaded or not. But how long are we going to stay here, Hawk? Are we ever going to do nothing? You'll get action fast enough if they make a break for us. I'd rather go in after him. All right, Link. Just go right ahead. We find you afterwards, we'll bury you. But just the same if we was to all of us go. We'd I... still be running a risk that ain't needed. You fellas, follow my orders. Have you got notions I ain't boss you no more? Oh, we ain't questioning that. You better not be. Well, I can sit with the best of them if I have to. But I'm here to say I sure don't like it. Who cares what you like? Keep your eyes peeled, your mouth shut, or pack your war bags and get. Oh, no, Hawk. That's all I got to say. I want that mask fell in the cash he stole. And no fools like you are going to stop me from getting both. <laughs> Ever since Sam Whitby had realized it was none other than the Lone Ranger he had ordered from his place, he had blamed himself for the mistake. In the cafe at Millfield, he told his friends the whole story. And there I was talking smart to him and taking him for a crook. But maybe if I'd played my cards right, he would have helped me out. Fellas, I ought to be took outside and kicked from one end of Main Street to the other. Gosh, the Lone Ranger. You sure it was him, Sam? I'd stake my oath on it. Sat his saddle just as straight as any Texas Ranger ever seen. Fact, I've heard stories hint he was one once. That ain't proof that he's. He called heard. the engine with him, Tonto, didn't he? If you don't know Tonto's the handle of that engine part of his, then you don't know nothing. We could have called a redskin that just to fool you. Yeah. And I suppose you'll find horses like that and he was riding free for the asking. <laughs> you never seen nothing like that horse. So big and powerful looking, you couldn't hardly believe it at first. And with a look in his eye, like he savvied every least thing was going on. A human look, that's what he had. <laughs> if he didn't look smarter than some of the humans in here right now, I wouldn't claim much for him. <laughs> Take nothing to laugh at. A man could kill to own a horse like that. Yes, sir, that ain't no joke. Why, sitting atop that horse and knowing he was yours would... would... Well, it'd make even a dried-up old fossil like me think he was something special. And by thunder, that horse would make me something special. Then it was the Lone Ranger you met up with, Sam, and no mistake. I've heard just the same thing. To think of standing there sassing him. 
Sam, I'll bet you feel like about two cents. <laughs> With holes plugged through them. Gosh, if he only had been willing to help you out. Not a chance after all I said. Well, didn't you say he mentioned something about seeing you again, Sam? Sure. And that's just what I'm scared of. Why would he be wanting to look me up a second time, less than it was to get even for the sass I'd give him? Uh, no sorry, gents. I had my chance and threw it over. If I see him again, it'll be just my bad luck. Hawk had been able to control his men throughout the daylight hours, but as darkness began to fall, they threatened mutiny. Slash, contrary to orders, left his post and confronted his leader. I'll come through. I've had all the weight and I can stand and all I'm going to stand. If you don't like it, it can't be helped. Now, that's the way it is. You look, Coigi. Yeah? Well, ask the other fellas if they don't feel the same. Maybe you're the boss, but we got some rights. You want to go in there after him? Mm, well... After I pointed out how he might drill half of us before we got him? Shucks, I don't hanker to get drilled any more than the next fella. But neither do I feel like sitting like a bump on a log for about 24 hours. Well, you... She's right, Hawk. So you're talking up, too. As long as everybody's declaring himself, I might as well join in. Slash so said just what I've been thinking. If I had didn't have no more brains than you fellas, I'd have been hung ten years ago. This ain't a case of hanging. The case of doing nothing with nothing to show for it. And besides, Hawk, after it's cleared dark, how do we know we'll be able to see him if he makes a break for it? What if he swims to the river, huh? It ain't easy to see a man again in water at night. Then you all say we should rush him, huh? <laughs> ain't there no better way? Yeah, there ought to be something we could do. <laughs> you won't wait. You're scared to go after him. What do you want to do? Run away? Hand him that cash to keep? No. Uh, that didn't ever do. Hey, what do you... Fellas, I got an idea. It'll work. I'll bet you anything it'll work. Huh? Hey, what's got into you? If there's anything worth hearing, let's have it. The brush. The underbrush runs almost to the river. Get matches and set it afire. How's the mask fella going to get away from that? He'll have to make a break for it and show himself where we can see him. Or stay in that little clearing by the bank of the river. And when the brush is all burned away, he'll be in plain sight anyhow. Doggone. Why couldn't somebody have thought of that before? What do you think, Hawk? Sounds all right to me. Right. Get matches. Start the fire the whole way along here. Yeah. All right. Come on. Wind's just right. The brush is dry and she'll blaze like kindling. They want to start it. Keep your hands in your guns and don't miss a trick. We're shooting them down on sight. All right. All right. Come on, boys. The outlaws lost no time putting their scheme into effect. Matches were hastily lit and applied to the surrounding brush. The flames spread slowly at first, then more rapidly, burning always more fiercely until finally they made a roaring inferno, casting their glow far across the night-shadowed wilderness. When their work was done and the flames were racing toward the river, the outlaws waited tensely for the Lone Ranger to make his appearance. They stood with guns ready and... Don't give them no chance to surrender! Don't give him a chance to put up a fight. Link, hi, Link. I'm right here. What do you want? You keep your eye on the river. He might still try to swim it. If he does, he's a corner. Slash. Yeah? The flames ain't so high on your side. That's likely where he'll make his break. Don't let him get by. Not if I have them, get both guns into him. He didn't worry about us over here, not at all. Good. Gosh, look at that fire burning. I wouldn't be on the other side of him for twice the cash he stole from us. Keep watch, fellas. He's going to make a break. He'll have to be soon. Or he won't have no more hide left on him than a barbecued steer. The Lone Ranger did not appear. The fire marched steadily toward the river, and then reaching its goal, slowly burned itself out. When the ground had cooled enough to be crossed, the puzzled outlaws began to search for the masked man. Oh, gone if that ain't a funny thing. I sure can't figure it. Yeah, maybe he was burnt. Who's going to stand still and let a fire get at him when he's got a chance to get away from it? Well, the smoke might have smothered him. Link, if he got away, there's no one here to be blamed but you. Huh? Me? How do you figure that? He couldn't have got away except by the river. It was your job to watch the river. You wasn't watching like I told you that... Oh, that's so no any... any... Well, doggone, I never took my eyes off the river, even for one second. You can't blame this on me. It ain't no more my fault than anybody else's. Well, so anyhow, whether he was burned or got away, we're out the cash. Yeah, if we'd gone right after him at the first... I didn't notice was... you so blame anxious to go after him at the first or any other time. Well, just the same was what we should have done. I say he couldn't have got away. It just ain't possible. Hey, maybe... Maybe what? The cliff where the canyon is. Why couldn't he have fixed a rope somehow and hung over the side? He could be there now, In the I... first place, he was a foot and never had no rope. Yeah, yeah, that's so. And in the second place, I looked there already. He's gone, that's all there is to it. You hear that? Huh? Listen. Hurry, old fellow, hurry. What the? Horseman. Sounds like a posse. They must be close to our camp already. Come on. Run forward if they get us cut off just like we had the mask, man. Uh, we'll never make it. There they are. You can see them. All right, sir. Stand where you are, you dirty crook. Start getting 
What do we do? Wait it out. But there are too many for us. Look, look there. The one in the lead, the hombre in the white horse. It's the masked man. Oh, yes, oh, man. Oh, 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 Up with your hands. I, I surrender. Shoot. Don't shoot. We're doing the sheriff's work for him and taking you rattlers to jail. Round them up, fellas. Wait, wait, hold on. You there. Well? We had you trapped. You couldn't have got away. But you did, and I, I'd like to know how. How it was done? You must have had wings. <laughs> he had some better than wings. He had the sense to see a way out when he stumbled on it. Huh? Oh, what Sam means is that Toto stumbled on it. Stumbled? Exactly. He stumbled on a log. A log? Eh, what are you getting at? Toto and I escaped by the river. There. Just as I told you, Link, it was your fault. You didn't keep watch. Oh, but Wait I... until I finished. We escaped by the river in broad daylight. Oh, uh, you couldn't have. Under the you... log over which Toto had stumbled. It had rotted, and we hollowed out the inside. We moved it into the river and got beneath it. There was an airspace in which we could breathe. We were entirely concealed. Well, I'll be hogtied. Once we thought we weren't going to make it. One of your men fired at the log. We thought you'd discovered our trick. That... Why, the log you mean must have been the one floating by when I fired at the bird perched on it. We couldn't tell why you'd fired. Anyway, we got beyond you, picked up our horses, and rode to town, bringing these men back with us. I wish I'd known you was under there. <laughs> but you didn't. So there ain't much now that you can do about it. Except to come along peaceful and take your medicine. <laughs> the more I think of how the masked fella fooled these fellas, <laughs> the more I got to laugh. Yeah? Well, Sam, it looks to me like he fooled you, too. Huh? You was the doggone sure the masked fella was mad at you. And then he brought back your cash. Shucks, ain't a word of truth in it. Me think the masked fella was put out by anything I said? Sure. Anybody fool enough to think that just don't know the Lone Ranger. Hello, The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>